Welcome everybody to part nine, session nine. We're going to teach you how to build, ship, and share your RAG system. If you recall from session one, this is something that is deeply ingrained in AI makerspace and in all of us. We've been build, ship, and sharing all day, and we are ready to see you and really cheer you on as you go build, ship, and share like a legend over the next few hours to get this done. Because that's all it takes to not just deploy your first LM application, but to deploy your first RAG system. Because that learning, that building, that shipping, that sharing, that making with others in a community, that's what time it is right now. That's where we wanna see all of you by the end of the day today. We wanna amplify your work in Discord, on LinkedIn, on Twitter. We wanna help you achieve your goals, not just today, not just in this hackathon, but in 2023, into 2024, and long into the future that is so bright for everybody at the cutting edge. We wanna make it easy for you to do that. We want you to keep build, shipping, and sharing. And we are gonna to continue to give first as much as we can, and we want you guys to do the same. So right now we're gonna show you how to wrap a simple RAG system in Chainlet, deploy to Hugging Face, and recall where we've been. We opened up, we talked about RAG, we talked about RAG with Langchain and open source models. We talked about Llama Index. We talked about how to use any open source model on Hugging Face. We talked about how to actually evaluate pipelines, how to take them to the next level with advanced retrieval. We talked about fine tuning embedding models for RAG systems. Now we're gonna talk about deployment. And the next few sections, the first one is gonna be on you guys having specific directions on submissions. That'll be real quick. And then finally at 6 p.m. Pacific, typo here, we are going to do live judging and you're gonna see what everybody else has built and shipped and they're ready to share. So for those of you that are feeling a little behind because we've been pounding you with content all day, I want you guys to realize how easy it is to get after this. And I want to return to our good friend, chat with your PDF. I want you to just note that if you wanted to build, ship, and share today, you could hamburger button, duplicate this space, slap in that open AI key, boom, rename it, you're off to the races. Now, are you gonna win with that? Of course, you're not gonna win with that. But is that gonna be awesome for you to have on your Hugging Face space and for you to be able to show that you did? A hundred percent. Can you add a little advanced retrieval? Can you add some ragus? These are the kind of things that will just make a huge difference if you actually build something today before you're ready to rock and roll. So let's recall, we can upload that document. It's not so much about the tool, right? It's about the story that you're telling, right? What are the one word definitions of the three laws of robotics and who outlined them? Let's see. Using conversational retrieval chain. And the other thing is, if you take this, you can also play with some really interesting components of this, even just through the user interface. For instance, let's take a look. Took one step, conversational retrieval chain. Took two steps, retriever stuff documents chain. Interesting. What's going on in the stuff documents chain? Well, that's the LLM chain. Remember we learned about that in Lang chain? Let's look in closer. This is the chat open AI. That's the chat model from Lang chain. You remember that? Now, I wonder if we if we look and see exactly what happens as this thing is trying to find the answer here, we can actually expand the context and we can get down to a point where when we're interacting with the chat model, we can actually 
start playing with the system prompt, with the user prompt, and with the assistant prompt. Because instead of this boilerplate using the following piece of context to answer the user's questions, if you don't know the answer, just say that you don't know. Don't try to make up an answer. You know, you can say, you know, you can say, speak like a, we saw the wizard example earlier from wizard, you know, speak like an astute educator who's trying to show off how smart they are, right? And you can make some really fun additions to something very simple, submit, right? And we get a nice little renowned science fiction writer and professor of biochemistry. So you can kind of see how we can add something to this without really doing a whole lot of work other than prompt engineering. So for those of you that feel like you're struggling, that can't get something done, that feel like you're not gonna be able to get on this train today or in the next few hours, whether you're online joining us much later after this hackathon or you're here with us today, this is so much easier than people think. And this is the point of building, shipping, and sharing with simple tools like this. And I wanna just show you that all the files to build this are right here and walking through exactly how this works, exactly what's wrapped, exactly how it's connected to all of the things that we've seen today already. For that, we're gonna pass you over to the Wiz, who's gonna show us just how easy it is to build, ship, and share this thing like a legend. Wiz, over to you. Thank you. Uh, sorry, you shouldn't see the right screen, hopefully. Uh, chat with your PDF. Nice. Okay. Hey. So, yes, uh, it is easy to do this. Uh, it's much easier than I think you might think. Uh, basically, all you need is three major components. Uh, this isn't going to be like the most production ready system in the world. Obviously, it's hosted on Hugging Face, but you will be able to access it. You will be able to share it with your friends and family, your coworkers. You can even share it privately amongst your organization members if you wanted to do that. You can run it with GPU. I mean, it's pretty close, right? And the idea is that it's a very straightforward pattern. We just need to wrap our application in a chainlet uh, application. So the idea is that we have our chain, and you can see that our chain is going to be constructed in this uh, at CL on chat start. Now this decorator pattern is something you might be used to if you've used uh, uh, fast API and other web frameworks. The idea is we just want to create our chain when our chat starts, and then we're going to expose it to our users through the messages that they send. So you notice in this case, we literally build the index in our application. We ask our user to send a PDF file to begin. They upload a document, we process the document, we add metadata to our document in order to track sources. We embed those uh, chunks that we've created. We uh, make a Chroma vector database from our uh, chunked and embedded documents. Then we can uh, add this message history, do a bunch of other stuff. Uh, we have this idea of our chat's memory. So the chat's memory means that it can recall what it's already said. That helps it to provide continuous responses. That helps it have a more natural conversation. We also have the ability uh, to, Chroma is just one of the vector DBs, Lily. Um, it's like uh, Pinecone, Face. All of these are vector stores or vector databases. Uh, you know, Face is not a vector database, but... It, uh, they're all just places we can collect text and then they're vectors. The uh, conversational retrieval chain is created in this on chat start uh, decorated function as well. And you'll notice that we have, you know, we this is just like what we did in the notebook, but it's in this on chat start instead. And then we tuck it away into our user session. Now, every time we have a message, we intercept it with our CL on message decorated function. All this is going to do is load up our chain, set up some callbacks. Uh, the reason we want these callbacks is so we can do this streamed response or to have a response that feels more natural. We'll 
call our chain with the user's message. Then we'll add sources and documents to it. So just to be able to do it, uh, basically we wanna give our users the sources uh, so that they can check them, verify them. But this is all that we have to do, right? We've just taken exactly what we did in the notebook, shoved it into our uh, on chat start. And then every time our user sends us a message, which we receive through the on message decorated function, we invoke our chain on that content. With this pattern, we can get ourselves to that fully functional app that you saw Greg use. We only need to do one more thing, and that's to uh, create a Docker file. Now, uh, I'm not going to go too heavy into this, but the idea is that Hugging Face needs uh, a blueprint with which they can build our application, and the Docker file is that blueprint. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, that's fine. You can absolutely uh, just use this uh, Docker file that you see here, as long as you tuck your application into a Chainlit uh, app called app.py, it will work fine. But the basic idea is we have a blank slate machine, and then we put Python on it. We change some permissions. We copy and then install our requirements for Python. We dump our uh, directory that contains all of our application files and resources into this home app directory, and then we run Chainlet. So the idea is it's like a blank slate machine. We install only what's necessary, and then we push it up to the top. And that is all we have to do to get this thing from our local machine in this format uh, to Hugging Face. If you're wondering how we actually get this done, you can either use the uh, traditional Git style commands, so you can clone this repo and then push your changes, or you can, if you wanted to, just upload the files using the upload file option uh, if you weren't comfortable with Git. And that's all we have to do to get these things going. If you have a working Chainlet app on your local machine, just dump that directory up into Hugging Face and then add that Docker file and away you go. And that's it. That's it. That's all there is to it. No problem. You know, build, ship, and share. It doesn't take long. All the boilerplate code that you need to build anything you can imagine is in your hands right now. We're at 4.15 Pacific time, 7.15 Eastern time, middle of the night, some other times, pretty late European time. Shout out to you, Manny. But it doesn't take more than a few minutes to put something together that we'd love for you to build, ship, and share so we can help you amplify. If you just go ahead and pick up Chainlet and Hugging Face, it's super easy. Duplicating a space can really make you feel that, wow, I did it moment. And we'd love for you to feel that today rather than simply just sitting around and consuming. Creation over consumption is a really big part of our ethos, even if you got to do what you got to do to make it happen. So with that, we look forward to seeing what you guys build, ship, and share. We will outline specific details for how to submit your final application at the top of the hour. We'll be right back to cover those in about 45 minutes. Thanks, everybody.